Okay everyone, I verified you can use three different methods to play Marvel Rivals on your Mac, and now I want to tell you about them. But first, we need to get something important out of the way. Two of the three suggested methods use cloud gaming, but why would anyone prefer this over local play? The main reasons in my opinion are the ease of use, the convenience, and the ability to play with much better performance on weaker machines. The single working local method is an okay option for Marvel Rivals, but it can sometimes encounter bugs or other unexpected issues that take away from the experience, which is why some users may opt for streaming the game. This brings me to Boosteroid, the first cloud-based suggestion I've got for you. But is this service even worth it, or is it just a laggy mess? From my personal experience with both Marvel Rivals and other games I've played in Boosteroid, the platform works very well provided your internet connection isn't total trash. Obviously, there's bound to be some minimal delay when using cloud gaming, but it's just not something that had any effect on my time with Marvel Rivals. As for the visual quality of the stream, Boosteroid is actually ahead of the curve here, as it offers both the cheapest and least bandwidth heavy way to stream your games at 4K and 120 FPS. It's a pretty good package all things considered, so I can honestly recommend it, especially for Marvel Rivals. Using Boosteroid is super simple. Just click the link in the description and register. You can even use your Google account. Then you'll need to get a paid subscription, but I first recommend checking your internet connection to the closest Boosteroid server. This will give you a good idea of what streaming quality to expect and if this service will work well for you. If you want to try out Boosteroid, go to your profile and click the subscribe button to begin your subscription. Then simply find the game in the search bar and launch it. Boosteroid is currently the only cloud streaming service that supports the AV1 codec as a feature, which is incredibly useful because it uses up to 50% less bandwidth than older formats. But this only applies to M3 devices and up, which limits its usefulness for now since older Macs don't have this advantage. To get the best possible Boosteroid experience, I recommend getting its dedicated macOS app and streaming games through it. Regardless of codecs, the app has better image quality and higher possible bandwidth, up to 80 megabits with less bugs overall than the browser version. To get the app, go to your profile page after you subscribe and click on applications to download it. Then just install the app, open it, log in, and you are ready to start playing. Most of what we said about Boosteroid applies here too. GeForce Now is an easy, reliable way to play this game on your Mac. The bandwidth demands here are a bit higher, but nothing your regular internet connection can't handle. In my tests, there was virtually no difference in the streaming quality between Boosteroid and GFN, both at 1080p and 4K. Choosing between the two will usually boil down to personal preference and what other games you want to play, since not all Boostoid titles are on GFN and vice versa. Setting up GeForce Now is also easy. Follow the link in the description, click the Join Now button, Pick a plan and begin your subscription. Then get the GFN app from the download section, log in and first go to its settings. On the right, find the respective game store, click connect and enter your logins to link your game store profile to the app. Then return to the game section, search for the game and launch it. GFN will run a quick internet check after which the game will start. If the connection test warns you of weak internet, you can still start the game but you should know the streaming quality may not be great. In such cases, I recommend tinkering with the connection settings in the app to lower the bandwidth demands and possibly improve the stream smoothness. If cloud gaming's just not your thing, you can try Crossover, which is the only currently available method for playing Marvel Rivals on Mac. Just note that this will only work if you have a decently powerful Mac. I am talking about an M2 Pro machine with at least 16 gigs to even get this game to run. But realistically, for workable performance, I recommend a Max chip and no less than 24 or even 32 gigs. The game is demanding and running it locally through several emulation layers takes its toll on how well the game performs. In my test using an M4 Pro with 32 gigs, I got up to around 80 FPS at low settings. However, during heated battle scenes, the FPS rate would sometimes drop down to 30, so there was some rather strong fluctuation. So don't expect wonders from this method, but if you've got a high-end Mac, you could give it a go. So, if you want to try running Marvel Rivals through crossover, here's how. First, follow the respective crossover link below, register, and either purchase the app or go for its 14-day free trial, which is what I recommend. After crossover downloads, launch it, install the app, and create a new bottle from the bottle menu. Then go to install, find Steam, and install it in the new bottle. Steam will start automatically, so close it, enable D3D Metal and M-Sync, and then start Steam again. Next, find Marvel Rivals in your Steam library and install it. Or if you haven't yet added it to your library, do that now. After the install completes, start the game and if you get an error like the one I am showing now, click on No. The game should start now but it's also possible that you get another error that reads, an Unreal process has crashed, and this one stops you from entering the game. Thankfully, there's an easy fix. 
Go back to the Steam bottle, click on Quit All Applications, and then on Force Quit. Then select Steam, click on Run with Options, and type this line in the Environment Variables field. Then just hit Run and start the game. The Unreal Process error shouldn't show up again. Now for a bit of extra jank. Once you enter the game, you may get this black window. Just click it to make it disappear and then press Command plus Tab once and then press it once more. Then you must click to start. But to get past the loading screen, there's an invisible accept button you must click. Hover your cursor a bit above and to the right of the loading please wait text. And once it changes to a hand, left click. This will click the accept button and let you continue. Next, some optimizations. First, go to the settings, choose performance for the resolution mode and also pick the low graphics settings preset. After that, command tab again, then press command plus space, type activity monitor and hit enter. Sort the processes by memory usage to see the most demanding at the top and find the one for the Marvel Rivals launcher. This process uses a ton of memory but isn't needed for the game, so click it, click the X and quit the process. After all this is done, you are finally ready to start playing. I recommend going to the practice range first to allow the game to cache some shaders before jumping into an actual match. So that's it for today's video. For more content on Mac gaming, be sure to check our channel. Till next time.